What's up guys? We just climbed to the summit of Mitre Peak in Milford Sound. Uh, we're at 1,692 metres. Uh, we hiked across from Milford, the tiny township you can see at the far end, and then hiked for six and a half hours. Mildly death-defying, super exciting though. Check it out. Morning kayak for a couple of suits. Woo! <laughs> seven. At 6 a.m. in the morning, seven. What time is it now? 6.30. Seven. Tamsin going ashore in Sandbat Gully. We made it high across the field. Now we just have to pull our kayaks up into the bush. Landed at the shores of Sinbad Gully and I'm about to climb up Mitre Peak. Tamsin taking her time getting the sandfire spray on. Alright. Do it. I don't have breath either. This is Jared. Oh. This is Jared. One of our local cat guys. So we just got halfway up the first hill. And now we can see two cruise boats in the fjord. Six hours from now. No. One more from here. Guys, we found the track. Well, track is quite a strong word. No, that tastes good. You may have already seen him on the boat on board. You can still <laughs> film me, but. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's so funny, it just like perfects the video. <laughs> like, I'm sweating up a storm here, right? Yeah, I'm taking my pants off. You have a t-shirt on. Are you just going to walk like that? Yeah, in my G, just, you know, <laughs> rolling up by the peak. And at one point we're going to have to go up 200 metres and then back down 200 metres. So it's going to be a pretty rough mental challenge. Already climbed to 860 metres. We now have to go down 200 metres. Pretty depressing. But then we get to go up again for another four hours. So we just got over the, the uh, first little hurdle and check it out. Mitre Peak, away the fudge in the clouds. Also, yeah, I'm in the tree. Just climbed the tree to take the footage. Hashtag vlog life. Holy cow. Look at that plane. Oh, you can see the airstrip. Staying hydrated, we each brought about four litres of water because clearly there is going to be zero water up here. 45 minutes till we stop for lunch maybe. We are totally drenched. We made it down and back up. If you can hear planes like every two seconds, it's because Milford Sound's actually the busiest domestic airport in New Zealand. Also right about now I think I should have been one of those girls who makes uh, makeup tutorials and is always clean rather than sweating from her belly button and covered in mud. Well, I'm sweating so much you can't see I'm sweating my shirt is entirely <laughs> sweated. Can't even see where the sweat is. I love that you're still wearing a headlamp. Yeah. Prepared. Yeah. How far do you reckon we are from the campsite? Campsite. Not but, that we're camping, for the record, that's just where we're having lunch. Um, around five minutes, something like that. Dude! Almost there. We're so close to lunchtime. This is the campsite. A couple of flat pieces. So if you don't mind a peak, you don't want to do the whole thing in a day, you can come here. Oh, check where we've been. So, we came up the ridge line, up, down, up, down. Boy, I hope our kayaks are still there. 
Yeah, we almost have to wear plants out a bit again. Damn, we are so much higher than that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I got that on camera, bro. Is that the peak? <laughs> no. Peak. No, no, that. Peak's in the cloud, right? We can't see it. Peak, right? yeah. Well, you can't see a peak from here because there's another peak before it. A false summit. Yeah. What? <laughs> Stop farting when I'm behind you. Two more hours up. Hour at the top. We'll be kayaking home in the dark. This next bit. Looks like a sheer cliff with a knife edge ridge. Sure we got this though, right? I'm not sure. Oh my god. I'm on the oh. oh Christ. This is hands and knees. Yeah. Have you shown them that? Check it out. This is where it gets fucking real, eh? Oh dude. <laughs> <laughs> Jer 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 like, oh my god, hold on to something! Wow, that's this actually. Yeah. But, don't, um, do that to me, <laughs> I'm just. Jer like, don't touch me! No, it's. God, it is so rad up here. Check it out. I hope you can see. But that. That is oblivion right there. Mm. That's, um. Yeah, you know. We just came up that. Yeah. It's like actual cliff. Oh, we good. Good. We totally yeah. got this. Fucking crazy. This is fucking crazy. <laughs> Not afraid of heights, just afraid of death. Yeah. Couldn't have chosen a better team. Alright. Like Thing is, this GoPro just it doesn't show how steep this is. This is like almost vertical and it looks like you're just going down the little hill. Check it out. Came from all the way down there, across the red line. Go up, down, and then straight back up. Out above the tree line, into the snow line, and now it's like free soloing. So mad. Pretty extreme. Jared's a little weak, but we got it. We got it. Check the plane out. That's insane. We are so high above it, I don't even think you can see it. Woo! Whoa! Holy cow. Yeah. <laughs> Check that out. Sickest echoes ever. Oh, wow. like a bunch of birds. Coming off the back of Mida Peak and that beautiful, beautiful valley is Simbad Gully. Home of Fiu, the blue duck. Mm -hmm. See, look at me nature guarding the crap out of this. Mm -hmm. Mute the video. Right. Um, and we just got all the way up here. 
Now we have to go straight down that, which is essentially a glorified club, and then straight up the other side. And we still can't even see the peak. But hey, this is so freaking epic, it makes it all worth it. So it's almost vertical down here. When we get to the bottom here, we'll be going right around this little cliff here. And then we'll be zigzagging our way up. There's one area that's a bit exposed where we're going over drop, but we have like 10 centimeters of rocks to step on, so it's pretty good. 10 centimeters of rocks? Yeah, like going out like a step over drop. We'll be zigzagging our way up when we get past up there, that little grass area there. We get to a rock which have a hole for it and we go to the north side of the mountain instead of being on the south side. Fantastic! And what if we do? Don't die! Yeah, do you want some water before we start? How you feeling, Jay Weird? Mm, challenged. Challenged! <laughs> nah, we totally got this. This is so epic. God. So, Aska is just trying to figure out the best route of this essentially yeah, this chair cliff face. Good? We going that way? Yeah, we're going this way. Sick! Alrighty. Good, Jared? <laughs> we just climbed up the most epic section that we really should have found but nobody wanted to die by holding the camera. <laughs> Actual free solo rock climbing. 100%. So insane. So sick. Yeah, Jared. You got it, dude. How you doing, Joe? Oh, good. Living the dream? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the here is only 240 meters left. 240 meters! Not so far from the full summit. Probably another 75 meters or something like that. And then we will start on the last ascent up towards Mitre Peak. Just having a little break here. Catching our breath. Yeah, we're getting real close. Hey, little buddy. Have a little rock hopper here joining us. Fun fact, because they live up in the mountains and they mainly stay on ground, jumping around the rocks, they don't have really back feathers, tail feathers. So they look a bit funny, they look like a tennis ball. meters away from the peak. I'm really tired. Pretty hungry. We're so close. So close. Pretty tired though. Yeah, <laughs> Ask is a boss. Doesn't look tired at all. How are you feeling, Jay Red? Yeah, I'm alright. a really cool idea. Uh, okay. Oh. Oh, Jared, that stinks. It does. Well, that smells really bad.
Mitre Peak just got five centimeters higher. Glacier that feeds Sterling Falls. Lion going down to Harrison Cove. Yeah, a bit of local wildlife. <laughs> Melt the sound. There's a skink, which is a type of native lizard. See, if see him just down there on the rock. He's chilling out, living on the top of Mitre Peak. Living the good life. Nachos have never tasted quite as good as they do on the summit of New Zealand's most iconic mountain. Also, another fun fact, it's apparently New Zealand's most photographed. Around a million people coming into Milford Sound every year. Yeah, dude. We had over 100,000 visitors to Milford Sound in December. And as you can see, we don't really have the infrastructure to support that kind of tourism. So, definitely a growing place at the moment. Alright, let's roll. Alrighty, home time boys. probably won't be down until just after nine so still need to hike that uh, whole ridge line there also there's what's called a day breeze at the moment so the wind kind of picks up in Milford Sound um, and it's, we've got white caps on the fjord at the moment uh, so it'll be a bit gnarly to kayak home in so yeah hopefully that has died down by the time we get back to the bottom anyway super knackered Try not to be, but we're all pretty tired and pretty flat. So, in case you were wondering, we are still in the bush, but we're like 20 meters from the end of the track. Yeah, yeah. it's just a paddle back. Just have to kayak all the way back, uh, but there are going to be about 300,000 sand flies in a minute, so probably won't film until we're on the water. Made it. Yeah, made it. Made it. Already coming. Uh oh, let's we roll. We made it! Oh, and look, nice. it's still light. Whoa, that actually looks really cool. So, yeah, now we just need to kayak away the back over that way. We got this. We got this. Hey! hey. Chilling in the front seat. Yeah. Who's checking us out, eh? <laughs> so close. So close, I can almost taste it. We made it back finally. Solid 15 hour mission. It's like 9 30 now, I think. Super, super naked, but it was an awesome day. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, do all those things that help me build this channel and I'll see you in the next video.